All right, everyone, here's the commentary for painting Mobius. First things before it goes, see that wing? That's what I did to start with by testing all the different colors on the co on the wing and the on the model itself to see how they would look with relation to each other and the different shaders that I was planning on using. Also, see that dark green stuff under his wing right now? That's um, called green stuff. You can use that to fill the cracks, any big gaping cracks in your miniatures before you paint. You might have seen other painters do that. You put that on, it seals the cracks up, it dries, and you can just paint right over it. And then you don't get any gross, open, big black cracks where uh, there were some. You have nice, soft lines. And you paint right over it and all is good. So as you can see here, I started with Elysian Green, I think it was. Um, it's like a nice yellow shade, that's why I picked it, because their bellies are kind of yellow, and as they age, they get lighter. So they'll start black and, and get darker as they age. I'm just working around. I These plates here, I'm going to leave them, because I'm going to want to paint them a different color. I don't like, especially with dragons, if you paint them all the same color, it ultimately gets really boring very quickly. So I wanted to not even paint that early on. Now, Telerian Sand on the neck, this was, I read in the book that they had leathery scales on their on their um, necks, and I thought I would do leather like this color, and use like a snake bite leather contrast paint on top of it, but then I realized, well, it's still fucking green. So, nevertheless, I ended up putting Militarium Green on after this Telerian Sand. It turned out pretty cool. Explains why you don't see it though, because I did it afterwards. I've been getting better at holding these things during these filming, I believe, keeping them centered. It's a lot less work in post. Lauren Forest, this is another green that I'm using on the plates. And again, they're going to look very stark right now. And then we're going to blend it all in later with shaders and layer paints. And I know some of these paints I'm using are layer paints. And you're, you know, that's, that's all right. I mean, you don't just always have to use base. You can use layers. You might have to put multiple coats on. Use a wet palette or thin your, your... Make sure you don't put too much paint on your brush and thin, keep them thin with a wet palette so you don't get too globby. You want it to go on nice and smooth. Uh, so here we are doing all the deep scales, a different color green for the, uh, the green effect that I was going for. Also, when I painted all those on the wing, I wrote down like a number scale of what each paint was related to which square is on the wing. That way, later on, I could remember myself which one I used in case I can't visually tell or if I wanted to do something like this after the fact. So we're just uh, touching up again here, finding all those little details. Could get better camera work, but I'll get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. um, just flipping them over. Make sure you turn your mini a lot because there's different angles you can't see, and if you don't, 360 enough you you'll end up finding a big white spot you missed afterwards and you'll say hey that's not good again same color green on these back plates those back plates got painted a lot though a lot and i mean a lot <laughs> between that and then a shader and then a layer and then another shader and then a layer uh, so they're really thick when it was all said and done but i think it looks cool because those should be like the armored back plates on the spine i'm just sniffling it's not COVID, i promise so as you can see, you can see, oh, I missed a spot there, and I oh, hit it right there. Uh, you know, the second thing with putting direct lighting on, as you're about to see when the camera changes, I put a direct light on, and it changes the entire color of my mat, so it stands out. And more importantly, it casts a weird white glare, and sometimes it looks like you've missed a spot of the gray primer underneath, when it's really just the glare. So we're doing these finger bones for the wings. Uh, don't worry about being neat. Just put it on there. Don't go crazy. I mean... I'm being as neat as you can, but we're going to put the webbing in a different color. And the beautiful thing with these paints is they paint over one another so well. You don't have to worry, unless you're painting a really light color or you have it really thin, like in a wash state. You'll just have no problem painting it over. So use as big a brush as you can get away with to make it go faster, as I've done here. And on they go. Looks like a bat. And underneath, muscles. Great detail on these Norzels miniatures. I really like them. And they're not that expensive either. Compared to like, you know, ge uh, Gears of... Gears of War? 
Games Workshop, I mean, like the Warhammer stuff. Those are really awesome, but they're super expensive. That's why these are fun. And I like fantasy stuff. So, oh, there's that green I told you about. So, Nurgling Green, you can see my light source has changed now that I brought it closer, and now it's harder, you know, it's definitely different. So, Nurgling Green, and I'm going to use Dorn Yellow later. That's what that means. Um, the Nurgling, I'm going to use the Dorn, really water it down and put it on there in, um, in like just a wash using the yellow, just to give it a yellow hue, and then I'll wash it again with the Nuln Oil. That's what I did for his wings. So again, these webs, webbings, you know, you can go up and down, but you also want to go left and right because of the way the um, the pores in the plastic are. You don't want to miss any paint. So you can go up and down to keep straight lines on the edges, but then you'll still want to go left and right to get in all those little nooks and crannies, not leave little white holes behind. As you can see, I'm about to paint over all my test areas, and they'll just disappear under the door, under the uh, the green. Dragons are quite easy to paint. These lines are nice and defined. As you can see, I kind of thurped right there. But again, you can just come back and touch it up later with the uh, Elysium Green again, and then it's it's nice. You can do the, the details and the definition afterwards. Right now, we're just getting some coverage on there. Get a sense of what he's going to look like. Plus, you know, you can go back as many times as you want when no one's watching to touch up those sort of mistakes. You know, wings are kind of boring to paint, though, because there's four of them, technically. Two wings, front and top and bottom. And I would have probably cut this, but it's still footage for my video. All right, so we're going Caliban green for these spines. Again, it's a nice, hard, dark green. Um, I've seen people do these black. I've seen them do them green like the, the, the bones themselves. I think it needs to be a little bit more. It can't just be... Um, the same color as the, the wing bones because then it would just be too I don't know I, think, I imagine those wing bones are underneath the flaps like the, the skin and these little protrusions are just hanging out so they're going to be whatever color they are you know duck don't care all the claws, all the hooks, all the toenails all the horns, all the spikes hit it with this Caliban green Underside, top side, left side, right side. Yeah. Let's get a little petty. Looks so good. Doot, 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 doot. If you miss some, don't worry. You'll come back around. As you rotate it, you'll see. You can see the white. Oh, yeah, look, I missed that spot. Oh, yeah. What about these elbows? And you'll hit them too. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Hold the goddamn thing in the center. <sighs> Frustrating to watch this, sorry. But I'm getting better. Okay, so next we are moving on. Oh yeah, don't forget those spines. They're going to get painted over like crazy, but by putting a line of Caliban green down, at least it stays darker where the spines are, which is kind of what you're going for. Okay. All right, wraith bone for the teeth. I never do white teeth. That's ridiculous. No one has white teeth. It looks retarded. And uh, as you can see, Sylvaneth bark off camera. It's a dry brush because wraith bone, albeit not white, is still pretty damn bright. So I brushed it uh, with the brown, and then I used Nurgle's rot out of his side of his mouth and on his tongue. Nurgle's rot dries like a snot green. It looks really good for the poison effect of the breath, the chlorine. Now, it's time to null oil this thing. You can see null oil. I used gloss because I thought I wanted the wings to look a little bit wet. Um, I know people say to use the glossy paints, you know, use paints that have gloss effects built into them. So I bought it to try it, but I'm not really a fan. I still like glossing up what I want with my own gloss afterwards, you know? Because when you gloss everything, then everything is glossed. And what if you want the underside of the wings to look matte and the top part of the wings to look gloss? Well, now that you've painted all gloss, you can't do that. So, you know, whatever. I wanted to try it, and I did, and now it's glossy all over. So again, don't let your contrast, don't let your shade pool too much. It's okay to pool in those lines. Uh, warp lightning. Okay, so we're done with the wings. 
Warp Lightning on those. I know that's a super emeraldy looking green, but I did like the way it, because everything else was so olive and green on green on green on green. It looked like a camo print. This just popped off and looked very emeraldy. And first I thought it looked ridiculous and I was going to like paint over it, but ultimately I liked how it ended up. Now the basing on this was so much fun to do. Zandari Dust first. Looks like a big cookie because that's going to be your base undertone of the floor of the forest. You can use dust or you can use a darker brown. I like lighter browns because it's always easy to darken things up, but it's not as easy to lighten things up. So while that might look sandy, now Storm Vermin Fur because it has a little bit of brown in the gray, I chose certain facets of the rock to paint, all the little pebbles and then sides of the stones, as you can see, just those couple sides. I didn't want it to be rocky, I wanted it to be um, dirty, and if you go out and look in the forest, that's kind of how it is. Rocks are covered in dirt. Now I'm going to dry brush with uh, Sylvaneth Bark to make two tones of, uh, make a darker brown everywhere. Because you know it's not just flat. And then as you can see I also use the long beard on those rocks. Uh, which also looks super sexy because those look like limestone rocks now. Agarax Earthshade and Niblet Green. Of course you have to let all this dry in between. Niblet Green is just the grass, the undergrowth, the moss, whatever. I only have that one dry brush paint and it stands off. It's a nice contrast, so I put it all over the place. You know, it's supposed to be a forest floor, so don't worry if you cut it on anything. Again, those rocks, try and keep those rocks safe. Now, go out in your backyard, find some twigs, stick them in there like my kid did for me. Um, glue them on in place. It's really cool. Because, uh, you know, nature's abundance of... You can find all kinds of stuff outside that won't rot and decay. You can glue them into position. Thanks to my son Evan for bringing me sticks from outside. He's eight. I really appreciated it. Uh, so, I'm going to do some moss effect on that rock. And uh, there it goes. The moss effect. Paint with a dirty brush. You know, where you want the moss effect to be. Nice hair. There you go. Put it in there. Dust some moss on there. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And uh, that's how you have a base. I'll forest it up. Anyways, thanks for watching these commentary videos. Leave comments in the section below if you want to go over anything else or if you have any questions. Peace out.